meteorologist Jesse Walker. Welcome back, everybody. I wanted to show you a beautiful picture here. Jay Robertson sent me this. This was yesterday evening. He took this down around Graysville, Indiana, near the river. Boy, you can see the sun going down and kind of reflecting off some of these cirrus clouds up in the atmosphere. Beautiful shot out there. Probably going to see just a few clouds this evening when the sun goes down, but overall, we're looking at mostly clear skies. Temperatures are inching back up, though. 66 this morning, slightly above average. 88, slightly above average. 101, the record high, a chilly 49. For the record low on this day, got just a little bit of rain here at this TV station, two hundredths of an inch. It would come a couple of isolated showers and storms here and there around the area, but uh, again, most of the day we've been in pretty good shape. Here's what it looks like with the sunrise tomorrow morning: 6:52, going down at 8:58. That's just over 14 hours of daylight, and the uh, river stage in Terre Haute rising just a little bit, just under. Five feet. At the airport in Terre Haute, 85, relative humidity up some, so there's a small amount of a heat index. Feels like 90. Winds are southwest at about 9, and a pressure 30.02. Temperatures right now running in the 80s to near 90. We do have a 90 down in Florida, and 89 over here in uh, Vincennes, and also in the Effingham area, so we're definitely starting to warm up just a little bit. And here's what I think will happen over the next three days the weekend into Monday. The heat index, what it feels like, probably not quite hitting 100. 98 looks like all three days, so again, not as hot as we had earlier. In the summer, but it's definitely going to be a hot weekend, no doubt about that. The heat index approaching 100 degrees as we head for the weekend. That's underneath the criteria for a heat advisory, though. A lot of moisture on the eastern seaboard. Look at this all up and down. You probably heard stories about a lot of rain on the east coast still happening. For us, we haven't seen much. A couple isolated showers and storms this afternoon, but really missing most of this area. There was a little shower up in the Terre Haute area about an hour ago. You can kind of see it came through right about there. Not much. Also, north of Indianapolis, a couple thunderstorms popping up up there, but they've been very very isolated in nature. Here's what it looks like on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. Looking pretty good around here. Kind of north and northeast of Indianapolis. You see a couple of thunderstorms up there, but again, the, the odds of seeing much this evening are going to be pretty slim. Here's the next 48 hours. It looks like tomorrow going to be an okay day. And Sunday going to be an okay day if you like summer kind of weather. Temperatures in the 90s, heat index in the upper 90s. Looks to be mostly dry. By Sunday evening, thunderstorms off to the northwest of this area. Those in advance of a cold front. So Monday, as the front gets closer to us, I think especially later in the day Monday, the rain chances will increase. Later Monday into the day Tuesday with the front coming through. Behind the front, some drier weather. Now we're getting into Wednesday for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But it's going to still stay warm. This front's really not going to drop the temperature a whole lot, maybe three or four degrees. So we're still talking warm, but again, not excessively hot weather. Here's what it looks like with the heat out west. And notice now this heat is getting in close to this area. It'll be here tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday, even into Monday. But then we'll start to cool it off just a little bit as we head into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week as the heat kind of retreats and goes back off to the west. And looking longer term now, this is August 9 to the 13th. The core of the hottest weather remains to the west. A little pocket of some below normal down here where we expect some wet weather. And for us, probably near normal temperatures there as we enter into that time period. So again, going to be warm, but doesn't look excessive. Here's your forecast for tonight. Mostly clear and mild, dropping down to 66. Tomorrow, the heat is back on 91. Again, heat index upper 90s with some sunshine. So a summer weekend coming up. Same thing on Sunday. Highs up around. Around 90 degrees. We'll stay near that on Monday with the chance of some scattered showers and storms Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday through Friday looking pretty typical with highs in the low to mid 80s. That's your forecast, and we'll head over to Grant. Thank you, Jesse.